Oh gosh, this is not small. This one is not small, my friends. We're chasing him. I just want to see him now. Oh, come on, I see my leader. Nothing like a good old real set right into a nice big old fat fish. Oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Did he just get eaten by something? Oh, my gosh. Something crazy just happened. He's still there. He's still there. It's big. What the heck? It's still there. You got it, JJ. Is it real big? Oh, I got him. Oh, my gosh. I've got this beast mode flathead. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Excited for today's fishing adventure. I am out here below a dam and uh, I've got just one rod with me and it's a big one. This is my big old cat fishing rig and I'm gonna see if I can't put a couple of big kitty cats on these rocks this afternoon. I've got about two hours of daylight to work with. I waited all afternoon to come out here and fish just because it is 100 degrees outside and there's no shade, but when you get here this time of day, there is a little bit of shade and uh, a lot more bearable for fishing. But anyways, there is a lot of water getting pushed through this dam right now. And there's a bunch of bait fish up here because of that. And that's what's got these fish wanting to come up in, come up in here and feed. So I'm gonna go down there, try to dip net some shad, and then we're gonna cut them up and chunk them out here into this faster water and hopefully find some big old kitty cats. I've caught some good ones here in the past and I feel like now is a good time to do it. So if y'all are excited to join along with me on today's quick and dirty cat fishing mission, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for good luck, and let's see what we can put in these rocks today. Let's go. All right, let's start off by trying to scoop up some bait. I'm seeing a ton of shad right here. Mainly a bunch of small ones, just some big ones mixed in there too. I want the big ones. So I can literally just get a net full of whatever I want, it looks like right here. Looks like some big ones mixed in. Oh, what we get? Oh man, look at all those shad. <laughs> I'm gonna put these bigger shad up here, let the little ones go, and then uh, try to get some more big ones. That's why I have to worry about securing bait. All I'm going to do right now is just get in the water and see if I can't catch some fish. There we go. That'll work. I got like three more big ones in here. I'll keep them small ones too. Okay. We have our bait secured. Again, really nice. Just like five, six inch gizzard shad. I'm going to chunk them up. I probably know here he is. Okay, I think it's the only one I had lost was that one right there. We're going to cut these up into probably like three or four piece chunks. And we're going to send them out here into the fast water. Okay, let's start out by cutting up some of these shad. Let's see a piece we can get off these guys. This is about, this is a little bit smaller than the other ones. So I got one, two, three, four. Four pieces off this one. I could probably get five off of one of these guys. This here's a little bit bigger. One, two, three, yeah, I can get five off of this one. Okay, I think that's gonna be a good place to start. And also guys, I don't think there's much of a better bait than fresh cut shad. Maybe skipjack, but I have never been in a scenario of catfishing where they just wouldn't eat a shad. So, and that's obviously what they're eating out here today. There's so many shad. Let's go on ahead and rig them up. This is my rig, it's just a, a bottom bumping rig. It's basically a drop shot. I've got a three ounce weight. I might have to up it up to a four ounce. I've got 40 pound monofilament. Actually, I actually think it's 50 pound. This is 50 pound monofilament. I've got a five aught circle hook. I'm gonna start kind of on a smaller hook. If I start catching some big ones, I'll, I'll lump it up. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I've got this leader tied on to 30 pound braided line. I like the 30 pound braid because it's strong and I can cast it far. So let's go on ahead. Let's give this thing a rip. Find ourselves a good seam to put this thing in. So you can see we got this big boil right here. It's not like super duper fast, but it's, it's flowing pretty good. But on the other side of this big boil, there's a nice little rip, little current seam. And the idea is you want to put the bait right in that seam. And you want that weight and that bait to just bounce along the bottom without getting snagged. So we're down there right now, almost on the bottom. Okay, we're on bottom, we're bumping. Now we're just looking for a fish to bite it. Be crazy if we caught... Oh my gosh, what was I saying? What was I saying? It'd be crazy if we caught my first cast. Oh, it's a nice fish, it feels like. I tightened this drag up. There we go, guys. 
first cast and we're on with a fish. I don't know if it's a catfish. I don't know if it's a drum. I don't know if it's a shark. <laughs> I don't know if it's a sturgeon. It's coming in kind of like a catfish. Oh, get up here. First cast, baby. There's been times where I've been up here and the current is so strong, I can't even pull them back to me. It's not at that, we're not at that level today, but it's still pretty strong. This is a 10 foot medium heavy surf rod with a lure rating up to like six ounces. Oh, it was a catfish, it's a nice catfish. Come down here to my fighting rock. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to pull him in or not without I'm breaking my line. Yep, he's on the surface. It's a lot of tension. Oh gosh. Man, this is hard. That's why you use the big gear so you can fight these fish in the current. Okay, it's gonna be one of those days if we hook a really big one, it's gonna be hard to get him in. Here we go, he's skiing. He ain't small. I'll tell you that, he ain't small. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I might have to cast more upstream so I can fight them downstream to me. Here we go. If we get them on top like this, we can pull them in. This line is definitely strong enough. There he is. Oh, it's a nice blue cat. Nice blue cat, guys. Woo, first cast. All right, we got him. There we go. <laughs> there we go, guys. First fish was on the first cast. That might be bad luck, hopefully not. It's a nice blue catfish. He's probably nine pounds, 10 pounds, just cause he's so chonky. I think I have my scale up there. If we get some bigger ones, we'll weigh them. But with the bite being as quick as it seems it's gonna be today, I'd rather weigh the bigger ones. That is awesome. Okay, on the board, I'm gonna send it back. I'm not planning on keeping any fish today at the moment, but I definitely might. And this would be a good one. Oh, there he goes. He was a little disoriented for a second. All right, one cast, one fish. Man, that is so difficult fighting them against that current. I need to get a rod that's a little bit stronger, to be honest with y'all. This is a pretty beefy rod, but it's more of a surf fishing thing made for fighting fish out in the ocean. Whew. Let's grab us another piece of bait. This is the tailpiece. I like the tailpiece a lot. The thing that's great about fresh shad, shad too is obviously it's fresh and it tastes good to the fish, but it stays on the hook really well when you make these long casts and that weight hits the water real hard. If you have some like fish that you froze and thawed out, sometimes they just fly off the hook. And you see how effortless that cast is, that 30 pound line. We're just back out there. Let's see if we can't get our arm broke by a monster. I'm not the chasing though if I hook one. And we get a I don't want a small one, but maybe we can get one a little smaller. There we go. Oh gosh, I got him. Next cast. <laughs> I don't want to catch small fish, but I need a break for a second. You never know how big they are either until they get up here because they're swimming with the current. This doesn't feel as big. I mean, it could be giant. No, it's little. That might not even be a catfish. It's a drum. <laughs> There's never a shortage of these guys out here. Oh, drum boy, drum roll please. Yeah, I think we'll keep this guy today and eat him. True or false? <laughs> nice little drum. Okay, two casts, two fish. How long can we keep this streak going? I think as long as they have the water moving and I don't do anything dumb. We can keep it up. That's going to make a good cast. If I cast it into the really, really turbulent stuff, it's hard to uh, control where your bait's going unless you have like a six to eight ounce weight. And that's just a little bit heavy for this setup. But I do have them if I need them. I'm kind of thinking about doing it. <laughs> I'm going to put this one back out there. We caught the last two. Perfect cast. Absolutely perfect. I'm on the bottom, I'm bumping, don't get snagged. I keep my rod tip way up. Anytime I feel a rock, I kind of pop it off the rock just so it doesn't get hung up in it. There we go, there we go, there we go. He bit it at the end, oh gosh, uh-oh. 
Oh, did he break me? Oh my gosh, he just busted me. What'd he break? Oh my gosh, that was a big one. What happened? Oh, he broke the hook. No. No, that sucks. That was a good fish, guys. This is 50 pound mono. He just broke it right there at the hook. <sighs> Might need some stronger line, honestly. Okay, so this will kind of show you how I'm tying it. I'm just tying on a Palomar knot. Wet it down. I'm not sure if I had just a bad nick in my line. Maybe from dragging across the rocks or not. I don't know. So we got that Palomar knot. We got a long tag in. I just run that tag in back through the eye of the hook and that way the hook kind of stands out on your line it's just like rigging a drop shot up for bass see how the hook stands straight out like that now you can tie a dropper i just see a lot of people do but i just do it this way kind of keeps everything streamlined now i gotta find me a weight and these are just three ounce bank sinkers i've got some four ounce ones in there too if i lose another weight or i feel like it's not getting down there well i'm gonna swap to a four i think i can get away with it you just want as light of a way as you can get by with it'll bounce on those rocks without getting snagged. That's just the key to it all. You don't, you either want to get stuck like with a big heavyweight or you want to bounce through it. You, you don't want anything really in between. Now I was just about to start taking off and chasing that fish when he broke me. I have to loosen my drag up just a little bit. I like to have that drag locked down in this fast current, but I might have to give him a little bit of drag. This is 50 pound mono. I usually like that big game. This is some other brand. So if it breaks again, I probably won't be using it again. As he just snapped it. It very well could have been a 50 pound catfish though. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Get, get bit. It's perfect. There we go. That's a giant. That feels big. I could be wrong. He's coming to me. Yeah, he felt really big at first. He might not be big. But he's swimming to me with this current. He's probably really big, actually. Yeah, he's probably really big. This is not a small one. This is not a small one. He's swimming upstream right now, and this is some fast... Oh, gosh, this is not small. This one is not small, my friends. I'm just going for it. Just going for it. I know he's going to try to take me down here. I don't want to give him too much. This is a big fish. We're chasing him. I just want to see him now. Okay. I think that's crazy. Here we go. We're spotting him down here. There's a little pool of water down here. I think end up usually going to. He is not small. He is not small. Got another angle down here, I gotta pass. Oh, he's not that big. Come on. Come on. I thought he was way bigger. After breaking off that one, I thought he was really big. Maybe nervous. He's still big though. He's bigger than the first one. Golly. Maybe not. He was just dogging. Come on. Oh, there he is. He ain't bad. He ain't bad. I'm bring you right here. Later, I'm like a tarpon. Okay, we got you. We got you. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that catfish, guys. That is another really nice one. He's over 10. He's got to be probably 12 pounds or so. I love using these lip grippers on these blue cats because they have some sharp teeth and they're very strong and they'll death roll on you. And usually when you you know, get to where you're ready to handle them, your hands are all tired from gripping your pulse so hard. He's off the hook. That is a nice catfish. You want a catfish? That's a really good eating sized catfish. I'm going to give him away over here. Let me, let me hold foot. Okay. 
And I told you to take off these two hemp. Wait. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> that one there leaked good. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> I thought he was I thought he was a lot bigger than that. <laughs> Go home. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. Yes, sir. Alright, we've caught two nice catfish now. Maybe we got two nice catfish and a drum. He said he was going home now. <laughs> oh, that's always fun. I'll tell you guys, these things are a lifesaver. Now I could, you know, reach down and grab those fish and handle them, but they just they start death rolling, they just tear my thumbs and hands up and I regret it every time. There's this, oh, that's a good piece right there. I expect big things from you. This is a perfect, this is my favorite piece of cut shad. It's the piece right above the tail. You have the tail piece, then you have this piece. And that, this gonna catch something. I can't believe I thought that catfish was a 20 pounder. He just was fighting into this current head up and usually when they do that, they're big. But he was just a normal, kind of small guy to be quite honest with you guys maybe I'm already weak sauce for the day maybe I don't need to hook a 30 pounder <laughs> who says that we definitely need to hook a 30 pounder get oh gosh yup 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 he threw so much slack in there yup yup you know, we ain't leaving this post until we have to. Oh. No, don't get in that current. Don't go out there. Mm, I want to put a lot of heat on him, but I broke that one off earlier. Oh gosh, come to the top and see how big you are. Gosh, they just feel so big when they get stuck like that. I think we're gonna have to go chasing. Gosh, that's the only thing that sucks about catching these catfish over here is they try to mess you up. But I also like that we're gonna go chase them down. Ooh. As y'all can probably tell, these rocks are not the most stable looking rocks. Oh, he's got me in some stuff. Let's get here to the flat part. Oh, I'm actually using this, this catfish just some stability. Okay. Okay, now we're, now we're running. Now we're running. Don't hit the rock. Don't hit the rock. Be big. Be a 20. Be a 15 pounder. Oh. I don't think I gain, I try to gain as much ground on them as I can before they hit the current and run down here. This current is so strong, they just end up right here in this little pool. Oh, it's a decent one. <sighs> Sorry, this is a workout. Watch out below. Not take it easy, not do that again. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, another nice one. <laughs> Yeah, just like the last ones. A little bit bigger. Oh, I guess my max for pulling up that wall is like eight pounds. Perfect spot to land him though. Big it. Jeez. Look at the tub. These catfish all just got the biggest tummies. Leader. We got the leader. Gotcha. Oh, he's bigger. Jeez, he's bigger. Whoa, that's a good one. That is a good one. Look at his head. Oh my gosh, death roll. See, I'm gassed <laughs> from all that running to fighting them in here. Ooh. Yeah, let's get him hooked. Perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth. You've got to love that right there, guys. Hey, if y'all love catfishing and you love big river blue cats, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you subscribe. I promise I'll catch you a 20 pounder before the end of the night. And I'll weigh in. We'll verify it. Okay. Oh. And all these catfish are all just so beat up. 
from getting chewed on by other catfish and just run into them and just getting beat up on this wall. Oh, snap. Okay. Let's hike back up here. Get back to our stuff. And let's do it again. All right. Back up here after catching that last catfish. I think we're up to three cats now. One drum. Feels like it's been non-stop action, but it's just because we're just going around everywhere. We got ourselves another little shad rigged up. The line still feels good, surprisingly. Literally any one of these casts can yield a monster catfish. A new personal best. I'm looking for a 35 pound blue cat. That'll do it for me on the personal best side on rod and reel. I've heard of 50 and 60 pounders getting caught out of here. There we go. Here's another one. Is he still on there? This one's not very big. We're grinding him. Ah, uh, he might be big. No, no. Don't go down there. You come here. You come here. You come here. Yeah. He's gonna make me go for him. He hasn't surfaced yet. Jeez. Ah, oh, we're going on another run. He felt small at first, but now he feels big. Honestly. Okay. Let's see if we can race him down there. Oh man, this is way more of a workout than going to sit in the gym for a couple of hours, I promise you. My forearms are burning. And this fish is just getting bigger. I could just be getting weaker. I think down here my other landing spot. Oh, this might be our 20. I don't know. I don't know, they all feel big. We can find them here. Oh. And how far down did he go? Sheesh. There we go. Here we go. Come on up. He's probably small. Watch him be small. Ah, uh, ooh. Ooh. Not small. Not a megalodon though. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, you would have thought I had these fish snagged in the tail the way they're fighting and pulling me around in this current. That's another hefty one. I need to put the scale in my pocket. That's my next fish. I'm going to have the scale in my pocket. I have the scale in my backpack. That way we can just weigh them down here so we can tell y'all exactly how big these guys are. Now, I think this one, I think they just keep getting bigger. This one here is probably a 17 pounder. I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's probably 20. I don't know. That fish is big. Oh. It's like they feel big, and then when I come down here and look at them, they look small because I feel like they should be bigger. But then I get them up here and look at that thing. I mean, look at the belly. What a behemoth. That is so much fun. Oh. Man, but a workout. I need to come out here with my boat and <laughs> quit chasing them around like this. But I love catching catfish like this from short. Just another big guy. Big old huge and Okay, we're gonna let you off these. Get you flipped over. Oh, he's big. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be a 20 pounder. Golly. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go. I don't wanna carry him all the way up. I don't like to keep him out of the water longer than I have to whenever I'm releasing them, especially if they, if they fight like that. There he goes. Whew, I'm gonna stick my scale in my pocket like I had these grippers. It's pretty low profile, it ain't gonna be that big of a deal. That way we can weigh him down here. Oh, I think at least one of those fish is really close to touching 20, which would be awesome. That was definitely my goal coming out here today was to catch a 20 pounder. I've definitely caught some 30s out here though. And I wouldn't be surprised if I did today, but he would make me work for him. 
Guys, I am so worn out. I'm gonna have a hard time staying awake driving home tonight. <laughs> Here's the thing guys, this is a beefy rod and reel setup. I've caught some gigantic fish on it, but I think I'm gonna have to upgrade to something just a little bit heavier duty for fish for these catfish, especially from shore. So I don't have to keep running down there and getting them. Cause I mean like, I mean, I'm telling you, this is, a, this is a big rod. I've caught sharks, I've caught giant redfish, I've caught giant catfish, I've caught, I've snagged enormous Asian carp. But these fish are just doing it to me. They are, I mean, first of all, they're full of life. They're spunky. They're happy catfish because they're full of a bunch of shad. Their tummies are huge and the current's fast. And they just get in that fast current seam down that way. And I'm just not able to torque on them super hard and get them in without breaking my line. So I think I'm gonna get a bigger rod and reel, maybe upside to like some stupid big braid, like some like 80 pound braid or something. I don't know, maybe up to like 80 pound mono. It might help me, it might not help me. I think I honestly need to be casting more upstream and letting the bait just kind of settle to the bottom so I can reel them with the current just to me, just so they can't get out there 50 yards away and that fast stuff. But either way, we're getting them on the bank and that's all that matters. I'm gonna put the scale in my pocket so we can weigh them down there next time. Um, they're biting really good. I don't know, they, I've been out here and they've turned the gates off about this time, so we gotta keep fishing like we don't have a whole lot of time left. Let's get another bait on this hook. Let's catch another monster. I'm gonna try this little seam a little closer to me. See if I can actually bump through it. Looks like it might be a little bit of a chore. Oh yeah, that's fast, jeez. I'm on the bottom. Feels like a spot I can get snagged in, honestly. Oh, is that a fish? No. I think I was getting bit. Is it a fish? It is a fish. Oh my gosh. It is a fish. It is a freaking fish. You was swimming right to me the whole time. Keep swimming to me. Keep swimming to me. Come on. I hear my fighting rock. He's a little catfish. Get him on top, start skiing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get this one. There he is. That's the, oh shoot, no, 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 over here. Yeah, there we go. Dang, a small one. We can lift that one. <laughs> Still a really good fish. If I was keeping fish today, I'd keep this one. Seven, eight pounder. I felt like what well, I felt like was a bite, but then I just lost tension with it. And then it felt like I didn't have nothing, but this guy was just swimming upstream in the current. That's crazy. You see, I was able to get him all the way in. When you get past this rip, it actually, the current turns and it comes back to us. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. So you don't have to chase them all the way down there. But the problem is you gotta get it past this rip and it's the fastest crab. Oh gosh. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. I threw up in the gate. Oh gosh. I threw it up into this first gate and he bit it. I don't know if he's big or small. He's coming to me though. Hopefully he's big. He bit it like as soon as it hit the water. I think he's big. Oh, be big. Oh gosh, big one. Woo, Woo big guy. I got him. God, he's dark. Oh gosh, come here, big guy. Yo, look at that catfish. Got him. Woo That's a nice one. I don't know if it's the biggest one we've caught today, but we finally got one we can weigh. Kind of get an estimate. Look how dark blue he is. 
Nice catfish. Look at that catfish, guys. That is a giant. He's like pitch black, just a dark bodied catfish. I think he's not as big as my bait my caught today, but it'll give us a good estimate on how big these fish have actually been. I got the scale right here. Hopefully it turns on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the scale says 13.2. I'm not sure if I 100% agree with that, but we'll take it. 13 pounds? I think he's bigger than 13 pounds. But we'll go with it. 13 pound blue catfish. I honestly think he's bigger than that, guys, but we'll have to go with what the scale says. Look at that head. Just an awesome fish. All right, one last look at this big old thing. Say bye. Ooh. There he goes. Back to the shad pile. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, a I thought I was snagged in a rock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a big one, I think. I think this is a big guy. I think that's a big guy. He's not like the last one, for sure. I didn't... My bait hit the bottom. I'm not even sure if it hit the bottom. I just lifted up, and I thought I was snagged up in a rock. Leaned into it, and it started fighting back. <laughs> Had it popped off, I would have just said it was snagged up. This ain't no snag, this is a good fish. Oh, the current's going this way now. Take him down here to the fighting rock. Take you down here to the fighting rock, buddy. He's trying to go up there. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. He's trying to pull me in. Big head shakes, dude. Listen, this drag up a little bit. It's a big one. I want you to be like 15 pounds. <laughs> you got, you got on the side or back hook. You got snagged. Oh gosh. Man, I'm so spit. <laughs> that ain't small, dude. Hey. Where you got the way it's going, it might be a I think it's a blue. Oh, did you see it? Yep, yep, yep he's good, man. Real good? He's real good. Oh. You got your 20 pounds. Dude, you want to you wanna, you wanna, you wanna snatch him for me? Yeah. He's real good. All right, guys. Thankful to have somebody out here. This is a Daredevil Fishing. Check him out on YouTube. He comes down here and fishes all the time. He's prof he's a, he told me he's a professional at uh, landing these big old catfish. <laughs> I gave him my lip grippers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a big one. See this one felt big without any without a bunch oh, yeah. of current. It's kind of awkward right now with the rocks being wet. Yep. Yeah, that's big. Oh man, get over here. Swim this way, buddy. Okay, here we go. He's coming to you now. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh my As god. All you, my man. God. Woo! Oh my gosh. That's a behemoth. Yep, he pulled him out. Oh gosh. Oh got the gosh. Job done. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys. I can't even belly this thing. He's so big. I'm so worn out. This thing is enormous. Look how big this catch is, guys. This is probably a 20 plus. We've caught some nice ones today, but this is the one we were after. I literally thought I was snagged on the bottom. But, I mean, look at the tummy. I think it's huge. Got that circle right in the corner of his mouth. The thing about catfish, once you get them hooked, they usually don't come unhooked unless they break the crap off. But we're gonna get him on the scale. Let's see how big he is. I, he's gotta be 20. I don't know if the scale is accurate, but even if it doesn't say 20 pounds, he's gotta be 20 pounds. He's huge. 19. Keep going. <laughs> 19 and a half. 19. It's saying like 19 pounds. We'll take it. We'll take it. Regardless if he's 20 pounds or not, if he's 19, that's might as well be 20 pounds. He's probably 19. He's probably 19 pounds. He's just a nice guy. Man, what an epic way to end the journey. I'm gonna make a few more casts, but this is probably gonna be it for me. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. We're gonna get this fish back in the water and we're gonna hike on out of here. Okay, one last look at this monster. Let's send him back. Oh my gosh. Easy on the way out, buddy. Dang. Just like that, he's gone, man. That was a dang river monster. What a freak. There's some, there's some weight behind this guy. Oh my gosh, sweet Jesus. Dude, I need help. I need help. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out here this afternoon below this big dam on the river and our goal is to catch as many big old catfish as possible. I'm actually trying to catch 200 pounds of catfish to be exact, maybe more. We're just gonna see what happens. The goal for today's mission is to see how many pounds of catfish we can catch. And I think we have about three hours of daylight. So to do that, I've got two rods. I've got my big old long surf rod dude. And then I've got this guy right here, which I'm gonna soak baits just directly underneath the boat with. And we're gonna be using some freshly caught shad. I have him here in this bucket and pulling out so you guys we're working with today. We got big ones and small ones. Here's kind of a medium sized one. I prefer the biggest ones because I can chunk it up into more pieces of bait, but that should be good. Just caught these just a moment ago over on the rocks. And um, yeah, let me show you guys my scale I'm working with too. I'm excited about this. So a few years ago, I was out flea marketing and I saw this big guy and I was like, I gotta have it. And the reason I got it originally is because I was catching some big old snapping turtles and I wanted to weigh them, see how big they were. And uh, this is how I was weighing those turtles. And also I was like, man, I could weigh some big old flatheads with it. So I was weighing big catfish with it. But it's been sitting in my shed for like two years now. It hasn't been used. Um, it's just a spring scale, but it's, it's, a, it's pretty accurate. And it's just a way to get a quick read on these catfish without having to jack around with the digital scale. And um, yeah, so we're gonna be weighing them on this big old dude. It goes up to hundred pounds. Maybe we'll catch one 100 pounds. I don't know. It could be done. But I'm excited to get this trip underway. They're flowing some water out of the dam pretty good right now. They just turned it on so the fish should be feeding the rest of the afternoon. I'm hoping they go crazy. But yeah, we're going to get after it. Hopefully you all are excited for today's adventure. If so, do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And let's see what size kitty cats we can put in this boat today. Let's go. All right, we got this big gizzard right here. This should make about six or seven good pieces of bait. Go ahead and chop them up. I meant to bring a cutting board, but I forgot it. So we're using my terminal tackle box. <laughs> It is what it is. That's that good stuff. I've got a good amount of big ones. I don't have an unlimited amount though, so I'm gonna try to make them last as long as possible. But that should be good to get us going. We got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces off of that. Should be good to go. Let's rig them up and let's send them out there and see if they're biting. Fish on. Fish on. I can't tell how big he is. He's going upstream though. Feels decent. He ain't bad. Hopefully it's a catfish. Don't feel like a drum. Feels like a catfish, guys. That was second cast, I think. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Nice catfish, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, big guy. Oh, he ain't as big as I thought he was. I just got excited. All right, get up here. Oh, man, I don't know why that fish felt as big as he did, but we'll take it. It's a channel cat, too. Normally, we catch a ton of blue cats down here. Channel catfish are always mixed in, too, um, but that's definitely a start. It's not a big dent in the 200 pounds I'm trying to catch tonight, but we'll weigh him and see how big he is. He's probably, probably three pounds, probably three pounds or so. We'll take it. So this is how we're gonna do it. I have these lip grippers. They usually have a ring on here, but my dog chewed them off, so I just got some paracord tied on there. I'm all straightened up. Three pounds. Three pounds. Which honestly, a three pounder would be some delicious eating, but we're gonna throw them back. We might keep some, but I'm gonna focus on just getting some numbers. So let's go ahead and toss them back. Get back in there. Let's make it one even bigger than that.
here. Fish. It's like, that's not weird. It didn't feel like a rock. <laughs> it still doesn't feel like it. It feels weird still. It's definitely a fish. He's running right at me. I can't tell if he's big or small. Golly, when they're all the way out there, 80 yards, 100 yards to the end of your cast, they feel good. They just not feel very good. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's why he felt weird. It's one of them dudes. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. I, I mean, I'd always rather catch a fish on a cast than to not catch one. But we're after the catfish. That's a little freshwater drum. We're probably going to catch several of these today. But hopefully in between the drum and small catfish, we're going to catch some 20, 30, maybe even 40 pound blues. Or flatheads. But let's get a new bait. Back out there. Fish. Got you. Be a kitty cat. He might be a catfish. We well, got bigger a little bit. Are you bigger than I thought you were? Oh, it's a bigger drum. <laughs> Dang, these drum are fierce. Ruthless. That bait got to the bottom and he was just on it. He's probably like three and a half pounds. Nice drum. Head or something, this feels weird. Dude, this is weird, this is big. It's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is really big. Dude, please be a catfish. He's coming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. That's weird. I thought he was way bigger. He's still big. That's our biggest one. I got nervous. Did he eat the weight too? What the heck is going on down here? Gotcha. Woo! Alright. That's a nice catfish right there. That's a blue catfish first time of the day. Oh, man. I don't know why he felt so big. Like, he was coming to me the whole time. I, I got nervous. Look how fat he is, though. Look at how fat that catfish is. That is awesome. So we caught channel catfish, a couple of drum. We got our first blue cat. I don't know how long he was on there. The line felt weird from the get-go. I thought it was kind of stuck on the bottom, but I guess he just had it the whole time. I bet he's like seven pounds, maybe eight. Let's figure it out real quick. Six and a half? We round up, seven pounds, seven pounds. And that fish really ain't that long, but he is just so fat. Actually, we're not gonna be like that. We'll round down, six pounds. Six pounder, sweet. Yeah, let's get back in there and see if we can catch another one. I thought that fish was so big.
came off? I got it. No, he came off. No. Ah, the boat was spinning. I went over some really nasty rocks. And I thought I was about to get snagged. Popped it up over it. Popped the bait up over it and got smoked. Just didn't get it. The thing I like about these fish is that they really do commit to the bait because they don't have that long to think about. The current's ripping, they're sitting there with their mouths facing the dam, and anything, anytime anything comes past them, they're just like... And they prefer these dead chunk baits instead of a live one because they're easier to get. That's catching a drum. It's cool to catch a white bass, but that's not what we're after. So somehow I forgot to get this rod rigged up and or baited up and cast it out here. So we're gonna do that real quick. I got a big old shad head, got a big old eight dot circle hook on here, and we're just gonna drop it, you know, pretty much right right behind the boat. We're kind of in a nice little current break and should stick to the bottom. This is my giant uh, burning shark reel I got off of Amazon. This thing has got some serious power, almost too much power. I feel like I lose fish because I'm like torquing them in too hard. Anyways, let's pitch this thing out here. I'm also a bunch of gar. Oh. Let's try that again. Got distracted, saw a gar flipping and flapping out there. Huh. Just something like that. We're gonna let it get down to the bottom. All right, we're on the bottom. This reel has a clicker. So we'll know if we have a fish because we'll start pulling on that. Set that right there. Hopefully nothing happens and the pole gets shanked out. Hopefully we hear that thing screaming in just a few. But until then, we're gonna keep casting this bait up into the fast moving water, keep bumping it down and try to connect some big catfish. against the current so it's hard to tell for sure until we get him up here by the boat. Not bad, he's rolling on the surface. It's a catfish. It's a catfish. I might know where they're hanging out now because as soon as that thing got to the bottom, he was on it. And that only happens when there's a bunch of them. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a good catfish. Stay on. Oh, the current's changing right here. Oh gosh! It's Shamu! That's more of the flavor we're after. That's how you make up ground. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. What a beast. That's a good catfish right there, guys. Look at that meathead. That's probably a double dig right there. Just wait till we get one twice this big or three times that big. He's not as fat as that last blue catfish we caught, but he's a long one. He's gotta be 10. Are we ready? Oh yeah. Scale don't lie, is that 11? That's 11. Call it 11 pounds. 11 pounder, biggest one of the day so far. My goal is to double this before the end of the day. Beautiful fish. Let's get it back in the water. I'm gonna put it right back in the same hole.
Okay, on Big Daddy. BB. He's kind of going upstream. They go kind of upstream. Oh, oh. Okay. When they, okay. When they do that. <laughs> when they do that, they're, they're big. Gosh. Okay. Unless this one's tail wrapped or something, I think he's bigger than the last one. Yeah, there's some density. There's some, there's some weight behind this guy. Yeah, he's swimming up. Look at that. Look at that. He's swimming up. Oh, baby, stay on there. Don't bust me. Look at this thing. He's going upstream. Look at this thing. Stay on my trolling mode, big guy. Might be a 20. Oh gosh. Come on, I just want to see you now. Let me see your face. Oh, darling. This one is not small. I've got my drag tight. I had it way too tight. I still got it tight. On a, oh my gosh, there's no fighting these fish. There's no giving up. Oh my gosh, sweet Jesus. Dude, I need help. I need help. Oh my goodness. Dude, this, is, this might be 30 pounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Yeah! Thanks, man. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, if y'all remember that first catfish, or that second catfish I caught, maybe the first one, I was like thinking that one was big because it was fighting weird. That one was fighting the same way, but then he started doing big fish stuff. I gotta grab my grippers. Dude, this is big. I don't know how big. My PB is 35 pounds. Blue catfish wise. Oh my gosh. Look at the. Look at my leg. Look at my leg. That's what we came here for, guys. That is a monster. That thing is heavier than a bag of dog food. Oh my gosh, look at that tail. Look at that thing, look at the head. That is enormous. Okay, we're gonna a quick wait on this thing. It's a good thing we brought the heavy duty scale. I don't know if it's accurate or not. We're just going to go with it. 22. 22 pounds. I was starting to feel like my uh, my my goal of um, 200 pounds this afternoon was a little bit ambitious, but with a fish like this, that kind of changes things. We're on our way now. If we catch some more like this, maybe hook up with a, with a really big one. This is really big, but I got a really, really big one. We're going to be in business. Look at the head. Awesome guys. I haven't caught one that big in a little bit now. Uh, so that's exciting. Scale said 22, I think. And honestly, I feel like it might have been a little bit bigger. I don't think it was 30. Um, I think he, he could have been pushed 25, but we'll just go with what the scale says. 22 pounds. Uh, we're rigged back up. We've got another piece of cut shad on there. And I got a little scale on the hook, get that off. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to get some more of those in the boat. We're gonna try to get something bigger. That that was a wild ride. Weird. 
I don't think this is a kitty carrot. It seems kind of fast. I don't know, I'm sore. What is that? This is great. No, oh gosh, big old blue eyes white dragon. I knew it felt weird. This drum was just trying to give me a little break after catching that big catfish, but I'm ready. I'm ready for another big one. Nice fish. Peace. The kitty cat. Time to drag a little bit. So I really like to keep the drag tight whenever I'm in the fast water because I don't like them pulling it and getting way downstream because I can't ever get them back. And then when I get up by the boat, I'll loosen it up. Feels decent. Oh man. If my line was to break just then, I would. If my line breaks, I'm going, I'm going backwards. I got to be careful. Dude, I don't know. Feels good. I don't think he's that's 20. I don't think he's four pounds though. Gosh. There he is. Oh baby. Oh baby. That's a beluga. Don't do that. Uh oh. <laughs> Using a, a ten and a half foot surf rod on a bass boat can be kind of weird, but. We're doing it. Okay. I've almost got. Oh gosh, she's way bigger than I thought. Oh, that's It wasn't pretty, but we got it. We got it. Gosh, look at this meathead. Look at that. It's a dang white whale. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Gosh, he's big. That's a chub. Hold on a second. That's some meat. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if he's 20. If that other one was 22 on that scale, he's probably gonna be a high teen. That's a good one. And it's crazy how they, they vary in coloration. Like this one here is that more of that light blue. That last big one was really dark. Oh man, just long, big, fat, healthy catfish. It's crazy. I'm gonna say on this scale, 17. Oh man, I, oh. I'm good. I'm good. 17. 17. That ain't no scrub right there. That is a beautiful blue catfish. So I think right now would be a good time to explain exactly what I'm doing to catch these catfish now that I've caught some. So what I'm doing is a technique called bumping, or at least I call this bumping. Some people call bumping when you're actually just floating downstream in your boat in the current. But honestly, all I'm doing is I have my cut shad rig drop shot style. Oh gosh, I need to hold that thing. About a foot above the weight. I'm using a three ouncer right now. You want to use as light of a weight as possible that can get down to the bottom and bounce over those rocks. If you're using a too heavy of a weight, it just gets stuck in the rocks and you lose all your stuff. So this three ounce is perfect for the flow we have out here today. And what I'm doing is I'm casting it as far as I humanly possibly can upstream. And that's why I'm using this longer 10 foot surf rod, using this big reel with a lot of line, just so I can launch it way up there. And letting it get down the bottom, and just letting it drift in the current 
And so when I'm holding my rod up really high, I'm trying to keep my line off the water and I'm feeling for rocks and whenever I hit a rock, I'm able to you know, kind of pop the rod and get the weight and the bait off the rocks. And whenever I do that, it's a lot of times when the fish bite it. So if I had my rod like low and just drifting, the water would grab the line, it would drag, it just wouldn't be a great presentation. So that's why I'm using this big, long, heavy duty setup. Just so I can cast it far and keep it out of the rocks. And then of course, I'm gonna hook up the big catfish, winch them in against all of this current. So let's get this thing back out there. Let's see if we get our arm broke. I think that's the spot. I think 10 feet past that. It feels like my bait is actually like running into fish as it's drifting down. I'm feeling weird bumps that don't feel like rocks. And then all of a sudden we'll just turn on it. That was the hardest hit of the day. I don't know how big he is. I think he's kind of smallish. I hope it's a catfish. He's kind of being, oh yeah, it's a kitty cat. Come here. There we go. So I really love having these uh, these little lip grippers handy in the boat to handle these catfish, just because whenever you're fighting them, you know, over and over again, your hands get tired, you lose your, your, your grip strength, and uh, these guys will start death rolling, they'll just really tear your hands up. I've had many days where I go home and my hands are just absolutely just rubbed raw and it hurts for like a week. Um, maybe it's a little bit um, weenie of me to use the, uh, the lip grippers, but definitely a game changer. That's another nice little catfish. Probably about five pounds. Five pounds. We gotta weigh them all. Maybe a little more. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. We'll take it. That's just another overall just really solid catfish. If we were keeping catfish today, I would definitely throw them in the live well or cooler, but we're not keeping them today. We're gonna send them back to the river. Maybe next time I catch him, I'll be 40 pounds. Next cast, baby. Yes, baby. We need this action. What is this? He's coming right to me. He's coming right to me. Come on. Don't be a drunk. Be a big old kid. What is that? Is that a flathead? Oh, baby. Let's go. We got a flathead. <laughs> Woo. That's awesome. That's our smallest fish of the day. But look at that. A flathead catfish. You got to love it. There's some big flatheads down here. I haven't, I haven't caught any myself. You know, like really be like 20 plus pounders, but that's cool. That is cool. Way better than a drum. We can add this to our overall weight, even though I think it's only gonna be like two pounds. That thing, that is awesome. All right, we got our flathead on the scale. Looks like it says three pounds. So not a monster catfish. I think that's our smallest one of the day. But with this catfish, we've kind of had a little change of heart, a little change of plans. Um, it's all fun and games catching and releasing catfish until a flathead shows up. So. I think we're actually going to keep a couple of catfish. We've decided we're going to have a little catfish dinner uh, this afternoon when we get off the river. And this is going to be really tasty. So we're going to throw him in a live well and uh, maybe throw and hopefully catch a couple of smaller blues or channel catfish to add to it. That's cool. You see that? Which that'd be great if that happened. Oh. Fish on. That one feels decent too. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. This doesn't get any better, guys, unless they're like all 40 pounders. But what would you do if you're catching 40 pounders every cast? I might fall over dead. <laughs> that feels decent. I'm hoping that this would be a good one to keep. To pair up. Oh gosh. Uh oh. He, we got some we got some weight on him now. He was going down in the current, now we're fighting up against it. I don't know what we got. Maybe it's another flathead. How cool would that be? He's coming up. 
He's going down. He's coming up. Oh, perfect eater right there. Yeah. Now we got dinner. Woo. Look at that. That's a nice blue catfish. He's not super fat. Like some of the ones he still got a little bit of a belly on him. That'd be a good one to take home and eat. I'm gonna guess seven. What we got? Oh, oh, oh. Easy sea biscuit. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Eight? Nine? That says nine. That's closer to the nine than eight. We're going nine. Chunky boy. Maybe those first ones I caught earlier on seemed bigger. That's because I hadn't caught any for like size reference. And now after catching you know, a couple of real big ones, these guys look smaller. It's like nine pounds. It feels like a nine pound bowling ball. But regardless, he's going to the live well. We're going to cook him up. He might keep one more, but that should be enough to feed us. You can probably get him in a little pass. Oh, oh dude. That one bowed up on He doesn't feel, he, this one here does not feel very tough. He crunched, I got a big old shad head on here too. What is that, is that a drum or a kick? A catfish. Oh, it's a big, boofy drum. Golly, look at that stuff. Oh, gosh. I think we need to wait on that one. That's definitely our biggest drum of the day. He absolutely barreled that big old shad head. He's probably close to five pounds, maybe. These freshwater drum can get huge. They can get 20 pounds. what we say? Six? Not bad. Six pound drum, I'll take it. Oh, shoot. I think we got one on this. I'm gonna send some back on this pole. Yeah, if I got one on this. What's going on here? Oh gosh. That was weird. They got some stuff going on with this pole. This pole has been out here forever. Oh gosh. Gosh, it's a guard. Jump. Yeah, baby. That's cool. Okay. Oh, is he hit my net? We got him. He didn't want it, but we got him. <laughs> oh, he about pulled the rod in the water. Guys, I don't know how long his lip grippers are gonna last in this thing's mouth. Look at that long nose gar. That uh that big white rod started doing weird stuff and the line had gone to the front of the boat and it had been all the way down there but this gar picked that bit up off the bottom look at the tail on that thing that thing is beautiful that is a beautiful long nose gar they get they get bigger in this too look at the teeth that thing is magnificent i wish it was an alligator gar but i also wish it was a big catfish but i'll take it we caught a little bit of everything out here today sick okay we're gonna send another head back out there on this white rod same way just Kind of out here, out of the way. Most of our big caps we're catching on the other rod, they're running down here, getting all jumbled up. There's a little rock ledge, or a little rock, little spine thing right here, and I'm trying to keep the bait kind of in line with. Keep it right here on this little current break. But ultimately, I just kind of want this out of the way. Just kind of as a little passive, little setup. We get our main rig rigged back up. I was borderline in between if it was a fish or a rock. And that's normally a good thing. It means they're big. And now he's feeling kind of, it's so hard to tell. Feels good though. <laughs> All these fish feel good. I'm just hoping it's a kitty cat. Oh, it's a kitty cat for sure. Barreling 
see right here. Oh, nice one. Is that a flathead? Flathead, big flathead. Dude, no flathead. Yes! That's why it felt like a rock. Welcome back to Brown Town, guys. That is a solid flathead. Definitely, again, not a monster flathead. But that right there, that's gonna be some good eats. That's gonna be as good as it gets. Look at that thing. It's probably seven, eight pounds, maybe nine. Hard to say. And you can tell where they get the name flathead catfish from. Their dome is flat. <laughs> Flat's like a rock. They just sit there, still on the bottom, wedged between them rocks, wait for stuff to bump down, and they gobble it up. What an awesome fish. Uh oh, that's serious. Hold the phone. Please get catfish. That's that feels weird. That feels good. This reel is junk. Oh my gosh, it's not even working. This reel is so hard to reel. What's wrong with it? Something wrong with it. We got a flathead in the bottom of the boat. We got something on the burning shark. Can't even reel it. He's coming up though. I'm gonna be a catfish. It's a catfish. It's not big. What is this reel doing? From that run, you would have thought that was a, be a giant blue cat. We got doubles. What's wrong with that, guys? What's wrong with that? <laughs> These guys actually like to eat these smaller blue catfish. That's cool. Let me get this little blue catfish out of the way. We're just gonna call him two pounds. Two pounder. And that flathead, a little over 10 pounds. Heck yeah, so 12 pounds right there? Oh man, how exciting. That is amazing. Again, a beautiful 10 pound flathead catfish, perfect eating size. If we were catching them really big ones, we'd probably throw them back, but these guys are hard to turn back because they are so delicious. We're gonna put them in his own live well. Hopefully he doesn't break anything in there. We've got three catfish in there now. We've got plenty for dinner. Now we gotta focus on uh, catching, I'm not sure what our weight total is at now. I think we're close to 100, maybe like 90. And we're probably not gonna get to 200 pounds. If we had a little bit more time, we'd probably get to 200. Um, I have no doubt if we got here an hour earlier, we'd be really close to that. But uh, we're gonna try to see how far we can get. Maybe we, maybe we can set it at 120. We can probably get to 120. Probably a mucho grande. That's getting bit. I threw it out in the really fast stuff, so I'm trying to get him back across before he gets stuck down there. He's trying to get stuck down there. This is a full body workout, guys. This is, this is not what we're looking for. Get up in here, little guy, little Jimmy. Another good little eater. Another one we're still calling two pounds. Ain't got time to be weighing these little ones. Another little two pounder. He could be one and three quarter, he could be two and a quarter, he could be two and a half. I think two pounds is fair. All right guys, what an afternoon of catfishing it was out here on the river. Um, they they kind of cut the water back a little bit and the fishing slowed down so we didn't get any more catfish and it's getting late, we gotta get back. Um, to the boat ramp. We're actually planning on cooking up some of these fish this afternoon or tonight uh, when we get back to the house. So we wanted to have enough time to do that. But I think we just narrowly missed catching 100 pounds of catfish, but we definitely caught over 100 pounds of fish. If you count all the drum, you count the gar, you count the white bass, uh, I think we probably caught roughly, I would say probably 130 pounds of fish. And that's definitely not bad. I think we fished for a total of like two and a half hours too, which is just insane. Um, they turned the water on out here a little bit later than they normally do, so we just didn't have a whole lot of time to fish. And we got out here a little bit later than we wanted to. But had we gotten out here as soon as they turned the water on, I think we could have easily gotten to that 200 pound mark. So let us know in the comment section if you'd like to see us come back out here and try to accomplish the 200 pound of fish challenge. Uh, I definitely want to come back out here and do some more catfish and try to catch maybe a new personal best.
right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are once again down here on the riverbank this morning, and uh, we're gonna try to catch ourselves a river monster. So today is like the last like decently warm day. It's still pretty cold, it's like 55 degrees today, but there's a front pushing through at the end of today, and for the next several days, it's going to be quite chilly and possibly pretty tough fishing. So I'm gonna try to make the most of this opportunity and try to catch some fish. I was here um, like a week and a half ago, caught a lot of fish, didn't really catch a ton of catfish, um, but I'm hoping that maybe the catfish will be stirring today and we can catch a couple of big ones. I've got four rods with me, I've got my cast net, I'm gonna throw it out here, try to secure me some bait, and we're gonna get our rods out in the water and uh, see what we can catch. Hopefully, we'll catch something good. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along with me on today's fishing adventure, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get these baits in the water, and let's see if we can catch big old fish. Let's go. That's a fish. Oh, oh, that feels big. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that does not feel small. What is this? I'm gonna come down here. That does not feel very small, guys. What is this? It actually feels large. Give him some drag. Oh, this is big. This is big. He's got me in the current. What is this? There's no way this is a drum. What are you? What is this? Oh, good blue. There we go. Starting off with a blue cat. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, he's not a massive blue catfish, but he's a good one. That's a good catfish. Let's go, baby. Went out here and landed. Oh, he smoked that shed. Come here. Yeah. Looky there, guys. First fish of the morning is a beautiful blue catfish and a good eater size, too. Okay. Well, I think that was just the current pull my big pole. I got nervous. It was going, <laughs> but it didn't seem like a fish. Look at that. Seven minutes into this mission, we got our first blue catfish of the day. Okay, I'm gonna actually take him up here. Try to hold on to him. And uh, we're gonna get him strung up. <laughs> and there we go, we're on the board. First catfish of the day, baby. Oh, fish on. Yeah, I didn't even feel the bite. I think you knocked the slack in it. What is this? He's not as big as our first one. Kind of fighting like a catfish, though. Could be. Oh, gosh. Those are big head shakes there. What the heck? Probably just a drum, right? Or is it another cat? There's no way we caught two catfish in a row, first two fish. He's pulling all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Big drum. Big drum. Whew, all right, we did it. It's been another 10 minutes since we caught our first fish. Uh, the bite seems to be a little bit slow today, but it's it's definitely there. And if, I think there's a ton of fish out there. I don't know, there's, a, there's so many birds, but I'm not really seeing a ton of bait fish. I'm having a hard time catching shad. I've only got like five left, but um, that's a big drum. One of the bigger ones I've caught down here recently. Just kind of hoping it was a catfish. All right, one last look at that guy. 10 out of 10. There we go. Another fish. They're just crunching it. When they bite it, there's no like tapping around. They're just gobbling that whole shad up. What do we have this time? I'm going to say that I put a dollar on. This is a drum. Oh, he came off. It was a drum though. He was like a golden one though. I wish we would have caught him. Dang. I really wish I could catch some bigger bait that I could toss out there. I'm going to pick up my throw net here in a in a minute and toss it around some more so then i can get lucky and get like a big shad and cut up all right so here's the deal i just caught this tiny little drum i've been trying for a long time to catch some bait in my cast net whether it be a big shad or even little shad or some small sunfish and i have just come up empty i don't know why i can't catch anything 
I guess they're just not running by the bank, but I had this little guy. So in the meantime, I really want to get my big rod back out there. Um, so we just decided we're going to cut this drum up and use it for bait. I haven't really had that much success using drum for bait. So I'm just going to cut him in half. I'm going to use this chunk right here, this back triangle piece. Always one of my favorites to use as far as cut bait goes. So now we have this big old chunk of drum. We're going to stick them on this circle hook just right back through there. That should be decent. And uh, we're going to chunk it out there. I really hate, you know, being down here below a big spillway like this and not having at least one big rod out just because, you know, it's not really in the way or anything. It's just out there just kind of doing its own thing. And, and I just like knowing that I at least have a shot at catching a big fish. We're going to try to send it up into those gates if we can. That current should take it back there to where we want it to go. All right, I think we're good. Got him, got him. I love the bite today. I mean, they are just, like I said earlier, they're just absolutely crunching it whenever they get it. I think it's another drum. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's a fish or what that is. That could be just current. That happens every time I hook a fish. Okay, I'm gonna send this drum back. I'm gonna see what's going on with this. It doesn't really seem like a fish. But what do I know? I hope it's a fish. I think this is a fish. It's coming to me, whatever it is. Oh yeah, oh God, big fish. He ate the drum. What if it's a drum? What if a drum ate the drum? It's not a drum. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. Testing the drag on the burning shark. I think this is big. I could be wrong. Oh gosh. Oh baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's big. It's a big boy. He ate the freaking drum. This is a big blue catfish. Oh, he smokes. Stay on there. That is a good one. I need my net. I'm trying to stay calm, but this is a big fish. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that is what happens when you throw a drum into the spillway. Look at the head on him. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta get up here with it. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that beast of a blue catfish. That is awesome. That is the river monster that we were after today. And the exciting part is that there are some lurking out here probably that are two, three, four times bigger than this one. But he smoked that drum. Look at that big old mouth. Oh my gosh, got big old thick lips. Look at his head. Oh my flathead. So he looks even bigger. <laughs> Look at that. Big old fish. I'm gonna get him on the scale. I'm gonna see how big he is. Okay. Okay. Okay, the scale just said 14 pounds and one ounce, and that seems to be pretty accurate. What a nice fish. Let's get him back down to the water. We're gonna release him. I don't wanna carry him out of here. I got a long walk. And although he would be some good eating, I would just prefer to let this big one go. So we're gonna walk down there, send him back, get another piece of that drum out there, and see if we catch another one. Say bye. Look how cool he looks here in this water. We're gonna let him revive for a second. He was up here on the bank for a moment while I was getting all my stuff situated. But he should be good to go here in just a moment. Catfish are pretty hardy and resilient. Man, look at those big pectoral fins. What an awesome fish. You know, I'm always hoping to catch fish like this when I come down here. But, um, oh, he's about to, there he goes. He was just looking right on out. Kind of like a shark. Hey. Whew. What I was saying is, I'm always hoping to catch a fish like that when I fish below these big dams and spillways, but not often does it actually happen. Or well, more times than not, it doesn't happen. Today, it happened. Oh. Okay, let's get another piece of this drum. Let me get like that middle section right here, and then we'll throw the head out there. Hopefully we'll catch another small drum.
about time we finally caught some shad. I mean, it's never this hard to catch bait. And I consider myself a pretty proficient bait getter. <laughs> this looks to be all thread fins right there. It's maybe like one or two baby gizzards in there. But man, I really want one big old nasty shad, but this will work for now. That'll keep us um, baited up for a little while at least. So let me kind of explain what I am doing. I haven't really done a good job of that. So this is a bottom bumping rig. It's basically like a drop shot setup. This is a two ounce weight. And then I have just my circle hook up there and my shad. This is 30 pound monofilament leader. And I'm using 40 pound braid as my main line. It's just, I can just cast it a lot better and I just prefer to use braid. This is a 10 and a half foot uh, medium heavy surf rod. It's rated to like three to six ounces. And then this is a big 8,000 size rod. Might be a little overkill, but I like it anyways. So what I'm doing is I'm casting up into the current at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm essentially just letting it drift and bounce along the bottom. You wanna have the right size weight. If you have too heavy of a weight, it'll get stuck. If you have too light of a weight, it won't hit the bottom. I've found that in this particular flow, a two ounce is perfect. So I'm going about, going about, so I'm casting at a 45 degree angle up into the current and I'm basically letting it drift all the way down to almost like a 45 degree angle back that way, like a 10 to two kind of pattern. Uh, but really, honestly, though, I'm really doing more of like a 10 to noon. As when I get down here, there's more rocks and more snags and I haven't been getting as many bites. So really, casting it up 10 o'clock, giving it some slack to kind of let it power through that fast current and get down on the bottom. It's like 16 feet deep out there, so it takes a second for it to get down on the bottom. And I kind of just keep up with my line. And so I'm on bottom now and I'm starting to bounce. And it's a pretty good current seam right there. So, I mean, a lot of the fish are just hanging out right there and the bait's just naturally just drifting right in front of their face. Here's a fish. Not slack in it. Nothing like a good old real set right into a nice big old fat fish. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh God. Did he just get eaten by something? Oh my gosh, something crazy just happened. My fish just got big or he got eaten by something. I'm not even lying. Oh my gosh, he might have just got eaten by something. I don't know what he would have got eaten by. Did you see that? I'm like actually concerned for my life right now. That fish just got really big. Like he, like he, something, like, I think something just ate this thing. What the heck? That fish was not fighting. He's big now. I feel like I had a small drum and it just got eaten. I gotta baby this thing now. Oh my gosh. Dude, did I just get, did I just catch a shark? Or did a flathead eat it? What if a flathead just camping ate it? It's very heavy, it feels like a flathead. Guys, y'all heard me at the beginning of this. I was just kidding around, like, I was really reeling fast. This is a flathead. Colin, this is a flathead. I'm about to see it, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I gotta see this thing. Oh, there's bubbles, it's a flathead. There's freaking bubbles. Be a giant flathead. Please be a flathead. Please come up so I can see you. I, guess, I just gotta know what happened. On a, on a small shed, guys. This is on a small shed. Now he's got me in this current all weird. These hooks aren't super big. Oh gosh. I don't got no net. <laughs> Current's going the wrong way. There's a lot going against me right now. I'm just holding this fish and he's just beating me up right now. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be a big flat hit. It's big. I mean, this is a giant fish regardless. It's bigger than the big one I caught earlier on the drum. He's, he's close. He's like right here. Oh, it's a big blue. It's not a flathead, it's a big blue. It's a big blue. I thought it was a flathead. It's a big blue. Oh my gosh, he was fighting like a big old flathead, guys. He's big though, I don't care. I'm not disappointed. I don't want you to think I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed. That might be a, oh, like a 20 pounder. 
The problem we have here is that this is the fastest rip current right here by the bank. And uh, the fish is just sitting in it and I can't, I can't really torque on them too hard because it might break off. I think we're gonna do it though. We're gonna swing him around up against this wall. There he is. We're just gonna bring him up here. We're gonna wrestle him up here. Oh, that's a good spot. Yeah, I feel good now. I think we got him here. I think we got him up here. How slick is this rock? That's a big old catfish. Oh my gosh. In case he comes off, look how big that catfish is, guys. He's he's hooked pretty decent though. I'm pull. Oh, he bit me. Oh my gosh, we got him. Oh. Ow. Ow. Ow, he's biting me. Ow. 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 Come up here with me. Come up here. Oh, this is big. Oh, he's biting me. My goodness. Look at that monster blue catfish. I think this was definitely gonna be pushing over 20 pounds. He's way bigger than the first one we caught that was 14. I can't believe it, guys. I literally can't believe it. Whenever I was first hooked with that fish, I thought I had like a little drum or a small catfish, and then it seemed like he got ate by something. Now, that's definitely possible, but this fish is hooked pretty well, so I think he just bit it, and then I uh, just realized he was hooked about halfway in. Look at that. Oh, I'm out of breath. What a fight. I thought I had a flathead, but just hanging out there down by the bottom, but nope, just a big blue catfish. Really, really cool fish. I mean, look how fat he is. Look at the belly. Just a big old huge belly on that thing. Okay. Woo. Ah. Okay, rough estimate. My scale said that this fish weighed 19 pounds and 15 ounces. So, 20 pound blue catfish. Let's take it back down to the river, send it back. That is so crazy. I can't believe it. Look at that. Say bye. Say bye, Mr. Catfish. Oh, that was fun. That was awesome. I knew when I saw these birds out here today that something crazy could happen. That's a big catfish. Oh, and it's ready to go. Okay, you ready? Yes. Mmm. Okay. Well, that was big. That was fun. He bit a smaller shad. Not like a teeny tiny shad, but a smaller one. I'm gonna rig that. I'm gonna pull that big pole back up. I'm gonna put this big drum head on. And we're gonna get back out there with some shad. So I think this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hook this drum head right through the schnoz. Gosh, it's bony. They go through. <sighs> That's a big old bait. We're gonna send it. Again, look at that. Big old drum head. Not too big, but it is big. <sighs> I'm not sure how well they're gonna like it. It's out there. We'll let the catfish decide what they want to do with it. And we'll get back out and uh, throw a small shad. And if we catch a smaller drum, we'll toss it out there. Get another chunk like that tailpiece again. I really like that tailpiece. Got him. Oh, now it's just going to turn into a freaking 20 pound catfish. Honestly, he doesn't feel small. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think this is a drum. I honestly don't think it's a drum. It could be, but I don't think it is. If it's a drum, it's a big drum. And I'm here for it. I think it's a catfish. It's a catfish. It's another blue cat and it's another keeper too. It's a good keeper blue. That's nuts. Look at him down there. Y'all see him? Woo. All right. Another great keeper blue catfish right there. Come to daddy. Looky there. Next cast, or I think it's like two casts after that, uh, that big blue catfish. We got ourselves another smaller one. Good keeper. It's probably like six pounds, five pounds. It might be all we keep today, just because, like I said earlier, I don't want to carry 50 pounds of fish back to, to my car. These circle hooks I'm using, guys, are like 
really good. They're just the Bass Pro Shop brand. And when you look at them at first glance, they don't look like they're very good. They look like they're too, you know, closed off. But they have been excellent. I mean, they have been gaffing those catfish. Making them really hard to get off. Man, it's a good fish. Let's get him on the stringer with his buddy. Let's see him side by side. Yeah. Pretty much the identical. The first one put on there has like gotten really dark since it's been on the stringer. I like when they get that dark blue color. They look pretty cool. Oh yeah. Next cast. My bait was floating towards the pelicans and I was like, they probably know there's something underneath them. Is it a cat or another drum? I want to catch another catfish. That's another drum right there. Another good one though. Oh, caught him. Big old drum. Man, I stink. I smell like shad, catfish, and drum right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whatever that is, he bit it and went the opposite way. But now he's not feeling as big. At first, I thought he was huge. He tried taking off like a redfish, so I'm gonna assume that it's a silverfish. <laughs> My oh, arms are tired. Black drum. Freshwater black drum. Oh, look at him coming in here. He's fat. He's croaking too. That's a big old pretty one. I like when they're dark and they have those gold fins. Ah. I also like when they barely hook like that. <laughs> There he is. That might be a kitty cat. That might be a kitty cat. He's got some steam on him. He's rolling. Goodness. Be a kitty cat. Yeah, my guess is kitty cat. All day. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it's a kitty cat. It's a blue cat. We had to go through about 10 drum to get us another catfish, but that's okay. We're back on the catfish train all of a sudden. Oh, I love flipping them up here with this big rod. Dang, that's a good fish. That's a really good size blue catfish to eat. But like I said, I don't want to carry a whole lot out. He's probably the smallest of the three. And if I am gonna keep another catfish, I would prefer for it to be maybe a flathead. <laughs> and um, you know, the day is still pretty young. I'm gonna fish out here for you know a good bit longer. So you never know what you're gonna run into. I know that a catfish in the hand is worth more than two catfish in the river, but we already got two on the stringer. So I think we're good. We'll be able to catch another keeper. I have hope. God, yes, 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 it worked. Oh my gosh, those fish moved up here right beside the wall and I floated a cut bait down there and got one. Big one too, I think. He smashed it, smashed it, smashed it. Oh gosh, that's what I'm talking about right there. He feels big. Don't come off big guy, he feels hefty janky looking float rig right now set up too oh there we go it's a nice big old black one big dark blue catfish he smashed that thing hope i saw my bait oh stay up here how big is he oh my gosh he's a nice one goodness Look at that big old blue cat. That's fun. He's angry. He gobbled that blue yellow head up. 
Oh my god, it's big. He's a big old geezer. Look at that blue. Big old. Look how dark he is. He's probably like 12, 13 pounds. He's a grumpy guy. Goodness, guys. That was a lot of fun. He smashed that little piece of cut bait that I had. And uh, man, I'm looking forward to casting back out there. Let's see if we get another one. Man, my thumbs hurt so bad though. Like these fish are really doing some damage to me. Let's talk about my setup real quick. So I've got a, uh, a one ounce weight on the bottom. Then I've got a circle hook, which is all tangled up. Okay, we're not telling anymore. I've got a, uh, a split shot that I'm using to kind of keep my float off the hook. But then up here, I didn't have any bobber stoppers on me, but I did have another bobber. So I clipped it on up there and I'm using that as my bobber stopper. It's pretty janky, but it just worked. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. He came off. Yeah, he's still there, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. It's big. It's still there. You got it, JJ. Is it real big? Keep reeling. It's a fish. It's a big fish. Oh my god, it's a flathead. 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 I got the net. I got the net. It's okay. Real, real, real. Just real, real. Real, real, real. It's a flathead. First fish is a flathead. 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 Yes. Yes. Woo! On the Timu reel. Are you kidding me? I got a flathead on my very first cast. When's that the, is awesome. When's the last time you caught a flathead on rod and it's, reel? It's been a while. It's been a really long time. These flatheads have biting really good down here recently. That is, that's awesome, JJ. Yeah. Turn him sideways. Let's see his head. Look at that oh, thing. Yeah. Flat boys on the river, <laughs> on the Timu reel. Are you kidding and me? And the Timu hook. And the hey, Timu the Timu reel got it done. Got it done. That's amazing. <laughs> What a fish, JJ. I know, I am so pumped right now. He really doesn't have a whole lot of modeling to his pattern. He's just kind of straight, no. kind of brown. Hey, congrats. No congrats. <laughs> what are we doing? doing? <laughs> there it is. Let's give him a live well unless we catch some more. Is that blue, big old blue cat? Yeah, his pole's not, he can't get it up over the current. Fish on, fish on. I think he's still on, did he come off? He's still on there, I don't know what this is. Maybe a catfish, maybe a drum? Maybe a, oh, it's a kitty cat. Woo! It's a kitty cat, my first one on the Timu rig. A little blue cat. That fly he caught could almost eat this thing. <laughs> if it was legal, I would rig this blue catfish up and put him on a big old hook and drop him down. I have this other rod. That'd be crazy and try to catch a big old flathead with it. We need some bullheads. This thing's got some crazy like leech parasites on his chin. Ooh, look at that, he's got leeches. That's gross, one, two, three leeches. That's a nasty little dude right there. All right, on the board, on the board. I noticed in our net full of shad that we caught, we also caught some baby skipjack. I'm gonna rake him up. He should be good and tasty. What I need is some of the moon eyes from a couple of videos ago. We saw we caught some, or I caught some moon eyes at this little spillway. I think that they would be crazy good catfish bait down here. If you'd like to see us go catch some moon eyes to use for catfish bait down here, let us know. We'll fill, we'll fill a bucket up with them, or we'll try to. Oh, oh, I got a fish, I got a fish, I got a fish. He knocked the freaking slack out of it. I was like, where did my stuff go? Yeah, on the skipjack. Is it a drum boy? Oh, it's another catfish. Yeah, it's probably a keeper. That's a keeper. Boat flip, yes. That skipjack lasted like three seconds down there. I was like, my whole thing just went limp, just super slack. I was like, where did all my stuff go? It's a catfish. It's a catfish. It's official. They like, they like the Timu hooks. The Timu hooks hold up to flatheads and blue cats so far. 
And it's honestly probably enough fish for us. We got that flathead, we got this blue cat, we can have supper. Look at the look at the mark on the side right. That's from a catfish biting that thing. That's crazy. You see that? That's absolutely from a catfish just trying to munch him. See that? Right there? That's where a catfish tried to bite him. I'm not sure if he was trying to eat him, but getting aggressive with him. We might keep one more if we catch anything else. Well, if we catch a flathead, it'll go in there. But I think that that's enough for supper. What do you think, JJ? Yeah. Big and JJ. Get him, JJ. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 real. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. I'm trying to get my crap real dead. Does he feel big? Yeah. Does he really? There you go. Maybe it's a striper. I don't know. Is it another flathead? That'd be cool. I wouldn't be yeah, mad. Weird. Keep reeling. Oh, it's a little blue. He just got stuck in the current. There we go. Oh, uh, that one's got leeches too. Right there underneath his chin. That's weird. Poor guy. Oh, he don't look good. He looks dead. Did you oh. catch a dead fish? You know, he was fighting really weird. <laughs> Maybe he was a dead catfish. He's Almost alive. like he wouldn't really fight it. <laughs> he is alive, but we'll take it. He might not have a lot of life in him, though. I know. He does look kind of. He's just a little baby guy. Yeah. But I guess we'll send him back and get back in there, see if he can't catch him a little bit, a little bit tubbier and a little bit more healthy. <laughs> Peace. Fish on. Ooh. <laughs> He's fighting pretty good. Your rod has been over I know this is awesome. This rod feels good. It's got a little more glass in it than my other one, so it's not quite as sensitive. I can still feel everything going on. You can definitely feel that bite. I bet it's just a blue cat. Oh, it's a drum. Oh. I was wondering when these were in a show. We caught four catfish before we caught a drum. That's pretty good because normally we catch four drum before we catch catfish. Look at that. Oh, blue-eyed beauty. This is a perfect freshwater drum. He could be a little bit bigger, but we'll take it. This thing will launch a bait. If, he's a, if it starts swimming, I got one. Swimming? He's swimming. He's swimming right to me. This feels really strange, JJ. He could get big. I don't know about the drag on this thing. I'm going to loosen up just a little bit just in case something crazy happens. It might be nothing. It's a fish, but it might not be nothing too crazy. He thumped it, though. He absolutely thumped it. Come on up. Don't be a drum. Be a striper. Be a striper. That ain't a striper. Oh, it's he's getting bigger. Oh, Might be a striper. Might be a catfish. Oh, oh is that a big drum? A it's a big drum. To be more exact. Hey. That's a big drum. That is a big drum. That one there's like picture worthy. Jeez. <laughs> Man, look at that drum. That's like six times bigger than the one I just caught. I couldn't tell what it was. He was swimming really fast towards me, like a striper. I was really hoping it was a striper, but we'll take it. Big old, beautiful freshwater drum. We don't really care what we catch today. We've already got dinner secured in the live well. We're out here just to have some fun. And he smoked that shed. He is huge. Nice fish. He's like a six and a half, seven pounder. Look at the head on him. Oh. <laughs> Catch some more. Nice. I got one. I got one. I think I got one. If I do, he ain't very big. He's coming in. I think there's a fish on here. This rod is so beefy, and this fish is not very beefy at all, if it is a fish. Oh, snap. 
Oh, snap. Dunn did it. Dunn got a white bass in the mix. Looky well, there. A little white bass. Gobble that shad up. Got him. Got him. Finally, another one. Feels, feels like a mm, decent one. We got another fish. What you got? I don't know. I think it's a drum. I hope it's a catfish. I'll let more water out. Uh oh. What we got? What we got? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Drum or catfish? Drum. It's a, <laughs> flip. Drum roll. Another good little drum. I'll take it. It kind of, kind of slowed down a little bit. It's getting a little bit late in the day. You would think they would turn on, but. They've kind of slowed down just a bit, but we're having fun. We've caught some nice catfish, we've caught some nice drum, caught a white bass. Who knows what we'll catch next. We're gonna keep fishing for a little bit longer. We're gonna send him back. See ya. I would do anything for some big baits right now. All we have is a bunch of smaller shad. Like, here's what we're using. You know, just a bunch of small thread fins, but getting the job done. Hopefully a big one will find them appetizing. Or there'll be just one just like with his mouth open and it'll just, it'll just bump right down into his mouth. <laughs> Fish, fish, fish. Oh, uh oh. What? He got bigger. Uh -oh. He got bigger. He started off kind of small, and now he feels like a sack of wet potatoes. He's fight. Oh, oh, he got in the current a little bit. He feels smaller. He's feeling smaller. He feels bigger. I think it's a big drum, but I would love, oh gosh, it's a catfish, I think. You think it's a catfish? I hope it's a big catfish. I felt what felt like some death row. Look at that, he's, he's bowed up. Oh, did he get me snagged? Woo! No, he got me snagged on something. Uh-oh. Wait for it, for Oh, it's a flathead. No way! It's a flathead. I got some else's line. I got a flathead and some else's line. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I, I think that's there. your line. <laughs> Oh, it's not. What are you? It's somebody else's line. Okay, here we go. Here we go, baby flathead. It's somebody else's line. Come on. Come on. That's why it got heavy. Woohoo! You get this other line. We're going to get this line out of here. Look at that. Heck yeah. I got a flathead. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll probably let this one go. He's a small guy. And we already got some good catfish in there, but that's fun. That is awesome. I knew it felt weird, and it felt really weird when I hooked this line. But it all makes sense. Had I lost this fish, I would have been like devastated. I thought I would have lost a monster. But I'm getting unhooked. Woo! I feel like we are in the ocean right now. We are just bouncing. Yeah, I'm actually going to toss him in the bottom of the boat for a second so we can decide what we want to do with him. I'm going to get this one unstuck. Nice. All this line out here is just in our way while we're bumping down. It's probably I've been getting hung up so much. Is that not your line? No, it's somebody else's line. Oh. I guess it's kind of a darker green than yours. <laughs> yeah, what's well, the bunch? I'm only using like two feet of green line. Oh yeah, that's true. And everything else is that rainbow green. That's true. Not but your line. I you're got right. it green. And I think I'm getting myself a free weight. Let's see what you're using for bait. What do you think you're using for bait? Oh, oh we're doing jeez. We're doing the striper rig. Ooh. So that right there is a really classic Arkansas striper rig right there. It's a little double dropper with these little split tails that you put on the back of snare baits. They're rocking a five ounce weight. I'm trying Score. to put them in that fast current. <laughs> I've been throwing a three recently trying to put in the fast stuff. But um, one of them, catch, I didn't see him catch these strappers on the bank, but that's that's how they do it. I got to figure out how to master that technique because I'm just not very good at it. But we, I'm glad we got all the line out of the river now and we got ourselves a free five ounce weight. That's like a two dollar weight right there. Heck yeah. Let's see the catfish. I don't know. He's, he's actually decent size. Should we keep him and eat him or should we throw him back? Um, what do you think, JJ? I'll let you make the decision. No, no, make me decide. Okay, we're gonna throw them back. We'll, we'll let them grow up and be a river monster. We're yeah. gonna catch one smaller one. We like to keep the smaller flatheads. We don't like to really keep the giants. Um, but we'll send this one back and let them turn into a river monster one day. Again, cool fish. Look at the head on him. Just a little beautiful. 
There we go. Oh, that's big. That feels big. That feels big. That feels big. It feels real big. I hope it is big. It feels big. It feels gigantic. Oh my gosh, this might be. This might be stupid big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this feels huge. I've got a back current working against me. This feels humongous. Oh, please be. Oh my gosh, this can't be small. It's big. This is big. Real big. We're gonna play this one easy. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. I don't even know if he knows he's hooked. I'm still kind of getting used to what a big fish feels like on this pole. Because it feels different than my other pole. Oh, it's big. Come on, stay on there. Stay on there. They just released a back current from the actual dam and it's ripping left to right and this fish is taking that route. This thing is very large. I'm not even kidding guys, this thing is very large. I mean, enormously large. Oh God, there he goes. Oh please. I can't go any closer to the dam either, so we're about to just have to ride this one out. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so big. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. He's a long ways out there too. Oh my gosh, please don't break real. There we go, there he goes. I still got the drag pretty tight. Oh my God, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad, he's using the current and I can't go get him. I thought the current was going to help me, but it's actually really hurting me. I literally can't go any further to the dam. I can't chase this fish. Oh, snap. Maybe he'll swim back this way. I can't do anything. This thing is really big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to freak out. I'm trying to stay calm, but he's like stretching me. We could be in for a long fight with this fish. I need the current to sway. Eventually the current's going to turn back and come towards me. Here it comes. Right on cue. It's coming back towards me. But I don't want to work on this fish too hard. I mean, this could be, I really don't know. I've caught some massive catfish out here and he feels at the moment bigger than anything I've ever caught out here. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And we're gonna try to just haul him back this way towards us. Very big, very big. Probably a big blue catfish, if I had to guess, just based on the runs, but. I swear, if this fish is not big, I'm gonna feel like the biggest idiot. He's coming, very slow. It almost feels like I'm dragging a turtle. I know it's not a turtle, though. Oh, he's right here, he's underneath the boat. Oh, good Lord, this thing is so big. He's just down there, dead weight, gigantic. Where's my line at? It's right here. He swam back to us. 
Oh my gosh, I have to see this fish. I'm using 50 pound leader, so I feel good about it and I feel good about my knot tying skills. Only thing I worry about is that, you know, when you're bumping, you're, you're bumping against rocks and that can fray your line on any cast. Oh, he's big. He's coming up though. Are we gonna get a look at this guy? I surely, he's probably tired from wallowing around that current. This is where I kind of wish I had the big hook, though. I was talking about like the... Oh my god, come on up. He doesn't want to come up and I don't blame him. Oh, the current's getting strong again. This is a beast. This is a beast. Okay, I'm getting... I'm about... Oh, I almost, I almost saw my leader. Don't run me back to the dam, please. Just stay here. Please just stay here. Please just stay here. Please just stay here. Oh my gosh, dude, my, my heart is racing. I hate that I'm by myself right now, too. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, she's getting me down in there. It literally feels like I'm fighting a snapping turtle. Come on, let me see you. Oh, go the Lord. It's a giant flathead. Oh my gosh. It's a giant flathead. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking... Oh, I just saw it. It's like a 30-pound flathead. No way. How am I going to get this thing in the net? Okay, we know what it is. Oh my gosh, it is a flathead. It's a beast mode flathead. Let's bring the net back here. This freaking current, he's got me all messed up. It's a beast mode flathead, guys. I watched a video not too long ago and this dude was fighting a 100 pound blue cat by himself. And now I know how he feels. <laughs> He's like, I can't land it, I can't land it. I was like, net it. I know exactly how he feels now. Because we are, we are fighting the elements right now. We got him though. We, we're gonna get this fish, guys. We're going to get this freaking fish. He's almost wore out. About to see him again, what we're about to do. Oh my gosh, beast mode flathead. Got my freaking rods in my way. Come on, come on. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh. I've got this beast mode flathead. Oh my God. Yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, how big is that? Oh my gosh, guys. This is a beast mode flathead. That's that's 30 plus all day. Oh my gosh, barely hooked right here. Why are they always hooked like that? I mean, right in the whisker. And somehow he stayed on that whole time. Oh my gosh, that is massive. We gotta get a weight on this thing. We gotta get some looks at this thing. He is so big. Guys. I don't know what to say then. Holy crap, what a freaking river monster. I knew there was a chance to catch something like this today. I didn't think we'd catch it this quick and I didn't know it would be this big. Oh my gosh, look at this flathead catfish. This is the biggest one I've caught in a long time and I think the biggest one I've ever caught on rod and reel. I've caught a 35 pounder on rod and reel. This is gonna be really close. Look at the head. Look at the massiveness of this fish. 
just incredible. I mean, so crazy. That is just so insane. I cannot believe that I have this thing in my hands right now. Oh my gosh. What a river monster. What a giant fish. I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to do, except we're gonna weigh him. We're gonna weigh him. We're gonna do our best to weigh him at least. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, it's not a new personal best, nor is it a new personal best, I'm not real. But it is a 30.14 pound flathead catfish. Look at this thing. So freaking big. That is insane. Look how giant he is. He's a giant. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him in the water for a second. 30.14. So just just a 30 pounder. But man, that is enormous. It's the biggest one I've caught out here. I thought for sure we had a big blue catfish because they run a little more than the flatheads. But then when he got underneath the boat and he wasn't coming up, I was like, it could be a flathead. And it sure was. I think that he was running because he had that current in his favor. It's all calmed down now. But that fish was just zipping. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get this fish back. I got my bark. So here at these dams, you can only be within 100 yards of the dam. So I got my boat spot locked right here at the sign, as close as I can. But what an incredible fish catch that is. And hopefully we can catch some more. Hi. Hey, Sai. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Everybody, hi. everybody on the camera knows what I just caught, but now I gotta show y'all somehow. Oh my goodness, Cole. Look at that thing. Wow. That is crazy. How big did you weigh it? Yup. How much it's is it? 30.14. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a monster. Okay, guys, we showed. Jay and baby, you see this giant fish? We're gonna sit it back in the water. We're gonna get a revive on it. We're gonna sit it back on its way. It's way too big to fit in our live well. I don't like to keep the giant flatheads. I prefer to let them go. Hopefully, we catch a small one we get to keep, but that is just incredible. I can't believe it. I wish we had somebody here that could help witness this with me, but we got all y'all here with us. One last look at this beast. What an absolute giant catfish. And she's almost ready to go. We had an epic fight. One last look at this giant beast and she is ready to go. We will see you later, big baby. Okay. <sighs> Guys, there is nothing better than catching a giant catfish like that on rod and reel. Especially down here in the fast current. And then to see it swim off like that, that's just great. I've, I've, caught, I've caught and kept a lot of big flatheads like that in the past. Most of the time whenever I'm like limb lining or trot lining, you know, that's whenever I'm after those kind of fish. But catch trophy fish, trophy fish like that on a rod and reel, I love to release those. Let them uh, continue doing their thing and let them continue growing to turn into an even bigger fish. You know, flatheads can get upwards of 70 pounds. And there's honestly a chance we could hook into something like that here today. So we've got to quit messing around, get back on our feet, get back to slinging some shad up into the gates and see if we can't get lucky and tangle up with another one like that. Now we need a big giant blue catfish.